Right, we have a little job I want to do here this morning because I'm going to do a run uh, to get bales tomorrow. I want to sort a few things on this too, it really does need to be sorted. And that is the wiring. Last time I had this out, it blew the indicator fuse on the Jeep and I knew straight away what was causing it, I knew it was an issue. This wiring here is in bits and it's not from rubbing the ground, it hasn't been rubbing the ground. This whole stuff here is all cracked open as you can see and it's just busted in a heap of places and the wiring has come bare I don't know where it is but remember looking and I see the two wires that's actually joined together but somewhere along that mess there is a couple of wires that are completely stripped we're not going to try to repair or patch it up or put any tape across or anything we're just going to tear it all out because on most of these trailers there's a junction box so we're going to have a quick look underneath now to see where the junction box is first and see how much cable we need. All right, so we're just under it here. That's the front of the trailer. And you can see there's our junction box just right beside it. So that could not be handier. So we're going to open that up and we're going to disconnect that cable completely. And we're going to put a new cable in, new seven pin plug, just to lay the thing right. All right, so we're in here. And here is our wire going in. And everything is just connected into a panel here that has spade connectors. It looks really clean. There's no corrosion in there that I can see. I can't see any corrosion there at all. So it's just a matter of taking them off one by one and replacing them like for like with a new piece of cable. So let's get to it. There we are. Right, just cut off our waist. Now we strip each one of these. Them chip tools I bought for scrap. <laughs> Just do it the old fashioned way. There we have it, that's our new connections. Right, so it's only a matter now of pulling them out and replacing them, so we'll take the brown one out first. Right, just remember where they are. So brown is gone, and this one will take its place. There we go. And that's them all popped into place. Job done, all I have to do now is close this up. Because in there, just leave a wee bit of extra cable. Don't need too much, but just enough. That's that. Yep. That's all. Right, so next thing we're gonna do is unclip all this the whole way out to the front. Never easy. Pull this out. Through here can we feed in our new wire. Um, I need to get off these clips here as well, these steel clips. So we can back onto the new one. Buggers are things to get off. Sharp as well, it wouldn't be long taking the hand of you. There we go. This plug has hit the ground before and that knuckle there has been broken off and that leaves it wide open then for the water to get in. And so I say that plug's all corroded inside. Uh, we leave it generous in it, we'll cut it a bit there for now. Be careful because they're very sharp. Well. 
I have the trailer up on axle sands and the reason I had that is because there was no rim on the there to work and believe it or not it might have looked like it was quite easy and accessible it's not because you have that brake mechanism right in front of you and you can't get up underneath it at all just by having these two axle stands on both sides and getting a little bit off of the ground that was enough for me to be able to get in and get it done so here we have our new plug I'm hoping the screws for this plug are inside oh thankfully they are I can see a bag yep yes they are okay so this is the little lad inside here that you're gonna be wiring into it can only fit in here in a certain way so there is a little bit of a catch there a little fella do you see him this little notch should slide in and just sit perfectly on that it'll turn around there but it'll go no further because that little notch is holding it and then you put on the lid or the other side we should call it when you close that you can see the little notch there's there and that will allow that to turn from side to side it means that you have it in the right place um, so this here will slide then into the female side and this little notch again it'll stop it from going the wrong way around and that's your seven pin plug in place look at the diagram you'll see your numbers with your colors your colors will match your wires and on the plug if you look here you'll see one two three four five and so on so you can't really go wrong so i would never be worried about wiring a seven pin plug just always check when you plug it in that it's working with the same connection that you have on your jeep and um, because some of them are wired differently and um, so always check it out before so when you plug it in just check your brake lights are right your indicators are the right way around and once you do that you'll be 100 percent All right, so that's that taken care of. That's gonna leave that much safer. So the next thing we have to do is around the back here, which isn't a big problem, but it still is a problem. Uh, our normal plate light in this side has broken off. Now this one here hasn't worked in a while. I think it's full of water, actually. I just after picking up two simple LED replacements for these, and we're gonna stick them on. So just there in front of you, there's two little bolts here and there. There's two little bolts there. I'm going to spray some dirty D40 on them and we're going to loosen them from this side and that whole assembly should pop out. My stuff now is all gone. It's all corroded anyway, even the spade connectors are all corroded. And I've been at this one quite a while and the bolts in the back are completely rusted in bits. And now it's torn inside here as I go to try to loosen it and I can't get a wrench on it on this side. So I've talked to it nicely for a long time and it doesn't seem to care no matter what I say so I'm going to talk to it in a different language. <laughs> Boom. Sometimes you just have to bring the right people to the meeting. I don't use insulation tape or that plastic PVC tape anymore. This is the kind of stuff I use for most jobs and I find it much better. It's much more resilient, apart from it breaking just there now because the camera's on. Oh, you couldn't make it up, you couldn't make it up. Well, there we are with half the tools in the garage down and shrink wrap blowing all over the street, but we have it on. Now we just have to do this one and we can call this job complete.
Right, we're back on and we're hooked up. And I haven't tested it before turning on the camera, so I don't know if it'll work or not. I can't see a reason why it won't, unless I have connected it wrong underneath in there. Everything else is more or less the same. Our tail lights are working. A little bit hard to see unless you get down at it on our two nor pit lights are working as well. It's all sorted. Right, that's the calving pen clean. Let it sit there for a couple of days. I don't think I've any cows calving for at least 24 hours. Well, apart from that heifer that's up there in the corner, she might have other ideas, but I think we'll get away another day or so. So, lovely drying weather. Just leave that lime on, let the whole thing dry out, and then we put a nice fresh bed in there, and that'll be right for another what's left uh, 22 cows to calve, and then we'll be finished. Oh, that day will be great. All right, so coming to the part I know you guys want to hear who won the prizes. Before we show you that, I just want to give you a quick update, a real quick update on our workshop because we've made another good leap of progress. And that is, we have the whole thing plastered. Finished and plastered. Um, the guys were here probably the day after I filmed this the last time. So it was very, very quick work. And to have the whole outside done, which looks great. They only finished this yesterday. Um, we got a little bit of rain, but not enough to do any harm. And it's just starting to dry out nicely now. And um, put on a light in here to get a look at the inside. So, there's our inside done. Very, very tidy work. They're local lads, only live about less than three miles away from us. So local lads, very, very local. But really tidy work, really happy with how they're done it. They actually left a little bar across there, do you see that? And it's just their own idea. He says, if you catch any water running down the wall, and just flip it out and it'll drip down rather than it running down the whole wall. He says, I've often done that before on a place like that there where you have sheeting coming down. It's starting to look like what I want it to look like, put it that way. So tomorrow, um, it's definitely the girls, we're just very busy now with other stuff that's going on, cows are calving one after the other here, and we're slurrying things to get out. But if we get a chance tomorrow, there's a lot of cement and stuff that's coming down the wheels in front of the house, and we're going to just take the power washer out. We're going to power wash the whole yard, power wash down the mixer as well, just give everything good power wash down. Clean out this floor, clear this whole shed out completely. But we'll leave it at that, that'll be a video on its own. Now, Lane is here with me. And we're going to announce the winners of our competition. Before we do that, do we want to say, what do we want to say to the people who took part? Well done for taking part and all of that money that's going to charity is going to help a lot, an awful lot of people. Did your mother tell you to say that? No. Is that, how did you rehearse that? In my head. In your head. Because I never, I just put her on the spot there. I never asked her to say any of those things. But look at, anyway, the way we're going to do this is Eamon Keane, who does my website and stuff, I asked Eamon, would you do some sort of an automated selection or some way of picking out the winners um, randomly? And because I wouldn't have a clue how to do that sort of thing. I wouldn't have a notion. He said, absolutely, no problem at all. So the way it works, when you donate, you put in your name. But also, on I donate, you have a little ticket number that's beside your name. So in total, we sold 8,707 tickets. We raised 44,326 euro, which is a savage amount of money. Unbelievable amount of money. I've never, ever witnessed anything like that before, ever realized that people would do that. And it's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So thank you to each and every person. And it doesn't matter if you didn't take part. 
It's the awareness, remember that. It's the awareness that we're trying to create here. Just to chat about it and the prize has just got the thing talked about and maybe in your home then it might have encouraged a conversation to take place and hopefully it did do that. And if it helps one person who said this whole thing is worth it. Eamon is the guy who has helped me so much with all of this, but setting the whole thing up, showing me how I donate works. He actually set it up himself, just making sure the whole thing was run right and he done a fabulous job. So massive thanks to Eamon. So Eamon has a little video here now that we're just gonna show off the selection of the three winning ticket numbers. Hey folks, my name is Eamon Kane. I would have helped Adrian out a small bit on organizing this raffle for Pieta House. In total, we sold 8,707 tickets and there are three prizes. So I've just gone on to random.org and I'm going to use it to generate three random numbers between one and 8,007. So I've added them here. So one to 8,707 and I'm just gonna get the three numbers now. The first number will be prize number one, second number will be prize number two, and the third number will be prize number three. Okay, so the first number was 3,778, second number 6,755, and the last number was 1,612. All right, so Eamon has these selections done. That's the three numbers. So then we sent them three numbers off to I Donate, so they come back to us with the full details, hopefully with a contact number as well, and we'd find out what was what, which came back pretty much instantly. And we have our three winners. Drum roll, have you got a drum? No. First prize, ticket number 3778 is Glenn Smith from Muller in County Cavan. So well done, Glenn. You're getting the tipsy bin. That's going to be on its way to you. Muller in Cavan, literally about 30, 40 minutes away from us. Maybe a little more, but not too far away from us at all in County Cavan. So the tipsy bin is going to Glenn. Well done, Glenn. So second prize, which was ticket 6755, and ticket 6755 came back as Neil McMahon from Navan in County Mead. Well done, Neil. Navan again. Again, not a million miles away from us in County Mead. Um, so well done to you as you're getting the Dewalt drill set, the impact drill, the whole bit set and all with it. So huge congratulations to Niall. And third and final prize. You want to do a drum roll? Is ticket number 1612. And 1612 came back to us a guy called Sean Kine. I think I'm right. And that is in Devlin in County Westmead. So well done, Sean. You're going to get the GoPro. Just exactly what you're watching on here. The GoPro with the whole accessories kit. Uh, and everything you need to start making your own videos. And maybe your own channel one day. So there's our three winners. Well done to you all. But more importantly, as we put our sheet down now, <sighs> pressure's off. Hope I've done that all right. Never done this sort of thing before. It has been one of the most successful things I've ever done. I've never seen a response like it. You'll be able to use a YouTube channel of all things or social media, something I've never had any experience with up until about three years ago. And even Facebook, Instagram, didn't bother with those sort of things. And to be able to raise that kind of money in four weeks, just because of you guys that watch and support our channel is just absolutely awesome. Thank you so much to each and every person. And more importantly, I hope that it does help somebody. That's all it matters to us, that it does help somebody because it's a very important subject, very important thing to talk about within your household. So don't forget it. Don't let it sit on the high counter because nothing will ever be done about it. If you need to make a change, make that change right away. It worked for me, it will work for you. That I can guarantee you. Last but not least, I wanna thank our two sponsors, Megafab, of course, Michael, for donating a tipsy bin, which is actually still here. It's down there on the corner. <laughs> I've got to move it in case it'll get covered in cement, which wouldn't look very nice been delivered to someone's house and covered in cement. But also Tool Fix and Dundalk for sponsoring the whole D-Wall kit to us as well. Massive thank you to you guys. Eamon, of course. Eamon Keane, brilliant young lad, has worked night and day and been messaging me all the time, giving me updates of what's happening. And the people of I Donate, of course, as well, um, for helping us run the whole thing smoothly through their system, um, which worked flawlessly as well. So that's it. I hope I haven't left anybody out. Has Elena here in Hudson?
<laughs> What's the cat look up without sneezing? It's just the type of dog that he is. But we will do this again for a different cause the next time because there are other important things as well that we can cover. And if we can do something good with the channel, then it's definitely worth doing. We get all them prizes now all wrapped up. Well, my wife, good wife Sinead, will and I have to thank her as well because she's been working behind the scene the whole time trying to make sure this all worked out without me making an absolute mess of it, which I would. If I didn't have help, I would. So there's no doubt about that. But we're going to get on. We have all the numbers of these people. We're going to be contacting them now and having a chat with them and getting their whole details and getting that stuff to them as quickly as possible. That's it, we're going to leave it there. We have a calf to feed now. It's just after been born. We still have a rip of other stuff to do and it's just gone a quarter to five, so we better get a move on about it. And with that, Helena's going to sign us out. And that, thanks for... <laughs> God, what is it? <laughs> She's tried to do this a hundred times already. Give her one more go. <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Oh! <laughs>